30 years and counting. This is Okanagan Sun Football with Ryan Waters. The 2-0 Okanagan Sun have their biggest test of the young season Saturday night at the Apple Bowl as the two-time defending national champion and 2-0 Vancouver Island Raiders come to town. The Sun are coming off an impressive and record-tying 30-3 win over the South Surrey Rams last week. The Sun scored 30 points in their 30th home opener and Tori Tarkon tied a CJFL record with a 109-yard touchdown run. Sun head coach Pete McCall says his club is getting better each week. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, you know, even just looking at the scores and, uh, and our performance as a whole, uh, in the last two weeks we've, we've seen significant improvement, uh, not only in each game, but it seems like every night we're getting more and more on track. You got the Raiders this week. Uh, how have you prepared? We've watched a ton of film and, uh, you know, rehearsed their plays in, in practice. And uh, we put some new things in to uh, to match up against them and, and to, you know, show them some new wrinkles. Uh, so, yeah, we just game planned a whole bunch, and, and uh, we're hoping to put on a free game. Do you feel the intensity has been a touch higher in practice this week because the Raiders are coming to town? Oh, no question. You know, uh, we nobody's forgotten last year. Uh, there's redemption on the minds of the guys coming back from last year, and, uh, you know, they're... Uh, Two-time national champions. They've won it three times in the last four years. And, uh, I mean, that right there, if you don't get excited about that, I think there's something wrong with you. But what's, what's the one aspect that needs to be really sharp in order to beat this team? I think our offense is going to have to put up some points. You know, we, uh, we ask a lot from our defense, and uh, I think this is one of the weekends where we're going to have to ask some from our offense, too. In week one, the Raiders passed a lot. In week two, they ran a lot. So what do you expect this week? Balance. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you're going to see him pass a lot. You know, I think they're still going to pass. They have, uh, I think, you know, a lot of teams, uh, they switch to the run once they get up and get comfortable. And uh, I think that we're going to see them come out guns a-blazing. And uh, like I said, I think we'll see a balanced attack, but they do have some big weapons. Uh, you know, their quarterback's a great quarterback. He can throw the ball well, and they have some nice targets there that they've brought in. So I think uh, we'll have to stop the passing game. Uh, happy to face them first at home? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think... Uh, of, of the, the way that uh, South Fraser played us last uh, week is any indication. It's, uh, it's a big day coming up here and playing us, and uh, it didn't seem to me that Bakuna got out of the gate all that fast. They looked a little sluggish, and uh, our guys, on, on the other hand, were very excited and very ready to go, and I think our guys will be even more so that way this weekend, and, and maybe we'll catch uh, Nanaimo a little bit of sleep after the road trip. All-Canadian Sun receiver Dan Turek has eight catches for 125 yards and a touchdown this year and says the Sun circled August the 7th when the schedule was released. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a big game, and there's a lot of preparation. They've always been uh, the team to beat the years I've played, and we were just taking this game like anyone else. We're not taking it lightly. We've been practicing hard this week, and... Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens on Saturday night. Something different for you guys as you face the Raiders back-to-back. Do you like that situation? You know, it's a little different. To play the team back-to-back is going to be a challenge Mm -hmm. because we know they're a tough team. And coming off a win or a loss, it's uh, going to be different because we have to go back and play them at home. I don't know. We'll see how how we take it because... we're both 2-0 and right now, and we could potentially be 2-2 two and two or we could be 4-0 and or whatever the situation is. So For you, you're no secret in the BCFC anymore with the, the All-Canadian Award last year, your third year in the league. Do you expect the Raiders to key on you? Yeah, a little bit. From them watching our game film the last couple of games, we have a lot of threats on our offense this year. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they don't key on me too much and I can get the ball a little bit. <laughs> but... Um, I'm willing to face any challenge I have in front of me. Can the Sun get time to throw the ball against the Raiders? Yes, absolutely. The last few games was uh, we played Surrey and Kamloops, and we were throwing the ball not extremely well, but we got the ball off, and we were we had uh, had a few yards here and there. So you know, we just take a challenge at a time. And well, you mentioned you got two games in the books: one against Kamloops, one against South Surrey. Is this team now on the same page as far as the offense goes? I think so. We're clicking a little bit more. It was a rough start this year. We didn't have an exhibition game, which there's no excuse for. But, uh, you know, we're just we're, there's a bunch of new guys here. And <clears throat> the offense is clicking a little bit better mm-hmm. every practice we get together. So we can only go up from there. The defending champion Vancouver Island Raiders are coming off two blowout wins early this year. A 37-13 win in Week 1 and a 54-3 win last week. They have won 25 straight games, dating back to their last loss in August of 2008, which was at the hands of the Sun 
here in Kelowna. This will be the first road game of the year for the Raiders, and head coach Matt Blocker says his club actually got better as the game progressed last week. I really like the way that uh, we played in the second half, and we just seem to keep getting better and better, uh, you know, um, as we go each each uh, each series, which is which is important right now because uh, uh, we definitely got to become a better football club if we're going to reach our goals. That's for sure, but um, overall, I like their energy, and um, right now, I like our commitment by our players. More of a ground attack used against Chilliwack the week before. You used the passing game to win. What do you like better? <laughs> the one that gets touchdowns yeah. and we don't turn the ball over. But uh, we, you know, I think in this league to be successful, you uh, you got to be able to do both um, and and have some balance. And uh, we're hoping that uh, we can put it together and in, in one game and and, uh, and have a little bit of both instead of one uh, more lopsided than the other. But. You know, defenses will dictate that a little bit for us so that we uh, get a chance to run the ball more or, or, or pass it. Working on uh, week three, you have the Okanagan Sun. What have you worked on in practice this week? Well, we've, we've just got to, you know, we've got to be a little more patient uh, offensively and um, and defensively. And from what we see the Sun, they're, you know, they're, they're a pretty balanced team on all three phases. And, and um, you know, defensively, they, they play their system extremely well, so we have to be patient with that. And, and uh, you know, offensively, um, you know, they got a quarterback that can move around that pocket uh, as good, if not better, than anybody in the league. And uh, we got to be patient that way, and, and um, we can't go chasing him around and letting him buy extra time. And uh, But overall, it's just a solid, very solid physical football team, and they're very well coached. And we got our work cut out uh, if we're, if we're going to end up on top. It's your first road game and a little bit of a wrinkle this year with the BCFC schedule. It's a home and home. Do you like this idea? Yeah, I do. Uh, either way, to be honest, when it comes to playing the Okanagan Sun, it doesn't sort of really matter when we play them. And, um, you know, they're always going to be really exciting games. And um, we enjoy playing them. I wish we could play them five times a year. And <laughs> But, um, you know, the fact that we get them back-to-back, I think it's really neat. And uh, I know people here are excited uh, two weeks from now to have them here in Nanaimo. So, um, uh, you know, the challenge for both teams uh, definitely is um, to prepare, you know, the hardest uh, the next two weeks. And, and uh, hopefully for us, uh, we have an opportunity to compete well. It's Saturday Night Football as the Sun and Raiders kick off at 7 o'clock at the Apple Bowl. You can catch the play-by-play live on AM 1150 or here at okanagansun.ca. Until next time, I'm Ryan Waters.